welcome back to another video. So I already primed my eyelids. I'm just gonna do something very like simple with my makeup today. By the way, I woke up with a puffy eye. I'm not sure if it's like allergies, but my throat even it's kind of kind of raspy. And then I also woke up with puffy under eyes. So I think I'm gonna put these. These are the Restore and Replenish from Pixie. So they are these here by a Pixie Skin Treats. And I'm just gonna put these on because I really do think that my eyes are super puffy right now. I actually did film something on TikTok. Not something. I filmed a look that I'm like loving. Yeah, I'm gonna try to. Oh my god, this is. This just is insane. Ooh, they're very moisty. Hopefully they work because, girl, I'm telling you, these under eyes are no joke. But anyways, hi guys. Sorry, I am just a little annoyed today. I don't know why, but I am. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this Clarence lip oil. I freaking love these lip comfort oils from Clarence. They're so, so soft. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Like, what is happening with me right now? I don't know what happened there. I don't think today's my filming day. I shouldn't be filming today because look what's happening. Oh my god, everything is just filling. Um, for the eyeshadow look that I'm gonna go for, uh, we're gonna take this. Laura Lee Los Angeles palette. This is the whimsical palette. It's so pretty. I'm gonna use her palette, but I think I want to go in with a darker shade. I've been loving this gigantic palette from P. Louie. This is way too big. Like, I don't know. Like for a makeup artist, I think it's cute, but look at the size of this ginormous palette. Like it's crazy. It's insane. And I don't know why, but I went like this. Like trying to fold it, and it like all this came off which I don't know maybe it's like bad manufactured but but I'm gonna take in the moment we're just going to apply this dark transition shade on my crease this eyeshadow look is really freaking easy you guys will see what I mean Okay, so I'm just going back again with the Whimsical palette and I'm taking Cloud Blossom. This shade is so pretty. I just love how pigmented it is. It just throws me off because I know a lot of like brow bone shades that are just shitty. They don't come off. They don't come off the way they're supposed to. So we're gonna stop here. We have a different shader brush. This one here is from MAC. It is the 242 brush, the famous 242. And what I'm gonna do is kind of fake cut crease, but with, the, with an eyeshadow. Pretty sure you guys have seen this method before. By a lot of influencers here. Um, but this is kind of like the lazy way of not cutting the crease with concealer and not looking like really like bold. Just more softer. Yeah, you're kind of cheating, but you're not really. I mean, you are, but whatever. You're kind of taking the easier way and that's the best way. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. With the eyeshadow, I'm telling you, this is the easiest eyeshadow you will ever do. And it complements your eyes so well. If you have brown eyes, blue eyes, I feel like, oh my gosh, this would look so good with blue eyes. We're gonna take these off because we're now gonna move on to the base. So we're gonna move on to eyeliners. Eyeliner. It's not gonna be black, it's gonna be brown, you guys. This is actually gonna make the look even better. Like, so pretty, so good. I love this eyeliner from Fenty Beauty. It is the Fly Liner in Big Truffle. If you're thinking about getting this item, like, 
stop thinking just go get it it's so good i just wish they dried up matte but it's fine i'm gonna do this one okay i think that's good that's enough Hey, that's it for the eyeshadow you guys I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my face so for my face application if you guys haven't seen it I do have a video here on YouTube of how I prep my skin before makeup and that step is crucial you guys so if you guys didn't, haven't seen that video I'll put it up here on the cards or down on the description box but that is a crucial step for me in order to have a flawless finish, you know, I'm going to start off by applying this Skin Proud Icicle Eye Balm. I also like the feeling of, of it on my under eye. I've been loving this primer from MAC. It is the Studio Radiance Moisturizing Illuminating Silky Primer. This kind of acts as, a, of course, a primer, but it also acts as a moisturizer mac came out with like their skincare along and it's so good i love their energizing i think that's what it's called their serum it's really freaking good like oh, i'm so obsessed with the line and this is such a great primer like look at my face it looks so stunning right i look just looks radiant and it looks healthy you know that's what i want next up i'm gonna take this too faced makeup insurance 18 hour wear setting spray the thing about the, these setting sprays is that you have to shake them very well because then you'll get like those white little dots. I'm just going to say. Yeah, I recommend that setting spray. It's really good. I'm not sure why people are not talking about it. If you've been um, watching my YouTube videos for the longest, you guys know that... The NARS Natural Radiance Foundation was the OG here. Like, this was my baby. I didn't trade this or switch this foundation for nothing. So I'm going to go back again with this foundation. You guys already know. If you guys know, you know. Like, comment down below if you guys remember those days when YouTube was just so good. Oh, I miss those days. Yeah, I take the shade Aruba and I'm just applying this everywhere. I took two pumps and a half and then move my way out. I just love this foundation. Like, this was my all time favorite foundation. It just goes really well with my skin. Everything. By the way, I have not shaved my pits in like a week, so I'm going to do that today. <laughs> I got this wax thing from Salon Perfect. They have like these wax uh, little kit. I'll put it here on my, like what I'm talking about here. I'll put it here up on the screen for you guys. I'm going to do it now. <laughs> we'll see how that goes because I've never waxed like armpits you know what i can't even complain because i've done laser underneath my pits and that hurt not hurt like damn like i'm in so much pain but i think now i would handle it much better i went in for like four sessions it hurt but it was it was i could tolerate it you know but if i go in now i would definitely not feel anything i think my pain tolerance has gone up yeah, I did my sister's. Her armpit hair have armpit hairs have not grown, which I'm so shook on how it's even possible because they're just little beads that you heat up on the, in the microwave for like 45 seconds and they melt into like this consistency, wax consistency, and you just you just apply it wherever you want it wax, and you take it off and it literally is like so easy i'm actually surprised that they now have that like an at-home kit which is crazy take this urban decay quickie concealer 
So I always like to mix my concealers. I don't know if you guys like to do that, but it's been my thing for a really long time now. And I take this ColourPop Pretty Fresh in the shade 45W, like 45W, and just to highlight, to brighten those areas that I want. I film pretty late. I am not a like a morning filming type of girly because I have other things to do in the mornings, like breakfast, cook, do like chores or I have to run errands. I go more in the morning so I like to just be free in the afternoons. I'm just, oh and I also like to go to the gym right after filming. I don't know, that's been my routine lately. I don't know if I want to switch it up and see if I am a AM gym girly. Yeah, I've been doing that for the past like five months and I really like it. I really like the routine that I have going on right now. I don't think I want to switch it up, but like I said, I, I'd be down to try the AM for a couple of months and just to see how I feel. But right now I think I'm just going to stick to PM. I know people, a lot of people go after work like after 6 or they go um during rush hour but yeah that's not me like I can't go in the middle of the day. I, I wouldn't get a good workout in because it'd just be a lot of people and machines would be taken up. I don't, I don't go to the best gym. I'm planning on switching gyms but I think I'm going to do it when a new gym opens up like closer to my home. Which is not even close, it's like 15 minutes or like 15 18 minutes away. It's not close, but it is a better gym. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of EOS. Yeah, that's the gym I'm talking about, and I'm just gonna see how that will change up my gym routine. Oh my god, I've been really liking this brush to blend out my cream contour. It is from Real Techniques, it's I think it's a new like brush collection. It's the 070 brush, and yeah, I think this is like a new collection they just came out with. Real Techniques came out with a, like a lot of things, actually. Uh, I've been loving these peel-aways, the cheek of it. They're so good. I have them on. I just put them on right now. I'm just going to show you guys a little bit and put a little on. It's This shade is Sunkissed Mist. It's so pretty. I was saying how... I've been like sleeping on these because they're so pigmented and beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes. I'm gonna order more shades of this specific um, blush, blushers. They're so pretty. If you guys have tried these Cheek of It blushes, uh, let me know what your favorite shade is. Mine, mine is, has to be this one. really liking these brushes from BK Beauty. They're really pretty. I'm going to make with the Patrick Star the One Size of Beauty baking powder. And then I just got these powders from Makeup Forever. I just don't think none of these are my actual shade. They look super dark. They look like they could be in like my bronzer shade, so I don't think I'm going to wear them for that. I know those are new and I want to use them, but like I said, I can't. <laughs> so I think, so I'm going to just set my whole entire face with this, with this one size beauty powders, or bronzers. And bronze. So for blush, I will be taking these blushes here from Lash Obsession. They're a small company, but I really love them. Like, look at that blush. Oh, it's so pretty. So I take a little bit. No, I take a lot. That's a lot. Just right on top of here. This mascara, it has been so good to me. 
it's from Hong Kong. I don't know how good it is. Like, forget all these influencers influencing you with, or TikTok influencers influencing you with kind of mascara. This one right here. Wow. It's so, so good. These lashes here are from Ardell. They, they are the Faux Mink 811 lashes. I'm not even joking. I can, I don't really buy, I don't really like to buy drugstore um, lashes just because I'm so, I get so many lashes from, from so many brands that I would say they look like very high-end lashes. So I love how they just look like they're foamy, but they look soft and not plasticky looking. I feel like I haven't seen any good drugstore non-shiny lashes. When I found these at Ulta, they come in a like four pack, no three or four. You'll see they're they're the eight one one lashes from Ardell. They are so nice, I'm telling you, they are the softest, most prettiest, like natural looking lashes. As you guys can see, they're so pretty. And they're not long, they're not too short, they're just perfect. Especially for my eye. They hug my eye really well, they're easy to apply, the band is not thick at all. Yeah, I absolutely recommend these. I will have a link to them down below for you guys. So mascara with these Allure lashes. This is the Birdie Lash, Birdie Beauty Health lashes. Sister. Um, yeah, I'm gonna brighten the inner corner with Cloud Bloom. I'm gonna take the flat fly line fly liner again and I'm gonna So that is pretty much it for the face for the look. Um I'm gonna go ahead and add some glow recipe mist. Alright guys, so that is it for this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a very, like, very quick get ready with me. And sorry if I was boring again in this video, but I don't know. I don't feel like myself. I feel like I'm gonna... I'm not even gonna say it. But, but yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys on my next video. Bye.